so killed. Yeah. Dude, really? Dude, puppy. We caught one the other day looking like that. Great fillets out there. <laughs> Cheers. dash cam from the cop cars, he's pulling up to the address. Uh -huh. He gets out, and this guy's in the backyard playing frisbee with his dog. Okay. You notice back right here, the uh -huh. net, this particular net, it's called a trawl. The trawl's not the water, it's not the water, so you can do that right there. Tie the end of it off, and make it into a bag. Those big guys, they pull big nets. This is a very, very small net. It's only 60 foot 32. And uh, what it's used for, they call it a tri -call. And the reason they do, they're going to try and see what's down below. Because shrimp are buried in the mud. There is no way to detect shrimp here. Nothing you can use. So the old-fashioned way is the way you do it. And uh, those guys pull those nets for three or four hours. And as you all know, if you're in a vehicle, it costs a lot of money to travel now with fuel. Uh -huh. And that is the main expense on the shrimp boat is your diesel fuel. Uh-huh. So, uh, they're going to have to see what they're catching. If they're catching a lot of shrimp in that net, then they're going to stay and go back over that same area. They do not want to be catching 50 or 60 percent shrimp. They want it to be at least 80, 85 percent. Uh-huh. So, anyway, what they do is they leave it down for 15, 20 minutes and pull it up. You'll notice the black line, that's called a lazy line. And the lazy line there is tied to the tail of the net so that they don't have to pull the whole net in. Now, you want to save as much energy as you can because it gets very hot here. 100 to 110 degrees with high humidity. They shrimp at night and they do that for a reason. One, it is cooler. But two, the shrimp that are in the mud tend to come up at night out of that mud a little more. Well, they're doing that all night long, pulling that net, throwing it and pulling it, throwing it and pulling it. They've got to keep up with things. That chain you see there, uh, the Cajuns came up with that action. It's called a tickler chain. And that tickler chain goes down to where the shrimp are, which is in the mud. And uh, it stirs the mud up, and they catch about 30 to 40 percent more shrimp. The boards are called trawl boards. What they're designed to do is take the net down and spread it out and create a mouth on the net. You see those cord lines, but it's also a chain line. That opens up into that mouth, and that's what you got. That's where the shrimp are going when that chain starts to stir. Uh -huh. What I'm going to do, I'm going to get it out, and then I'll come back and take it up.
But you can see the difference when you look in there, the specs on them versus not. This is a female blue crab, and this is a female blue crab. I'm going to show you both of them. You'll notice the back, the oval back on the top. The claw is that orange with a dark red tip. That's what the, the female looks like. Yeah, they are. That's a very nice one. Smell with it. It's a chloroceptor essentially organ. They can find food in zero visibility. Huh. Now, when they hide out, check this out. Wow. Uh -huh. Anything coming after them, they know it's coming. They can feel the vibrations in the water, so they know when something's coming after them. They got an eyeball. They can go over. Uh huh. Oh my God. Wow. They can go under. Yeah. Oh my it goodness. can just roll all the way around. It can see 360 <laughs> degrees all the way around. Uh, so they know you're coming, they know what you are, but they don't do well in fighting. Uh, all they got is a horn. They flick backwards and they bury themselves. And after that, uh, they don't do too well in that Over 95% of all shrimp consumes by natural predator. Uh, we take less than 5%. They live 18 to 24 months if they're lucky. And uh, during that time frame, everything gets eaten in one way or another. So, big question. Uh, 95 or 5, that's 100, right? How do they keep coming around? Seems like we deplete them, wouldn't it? Uh, they lay between 100,000 to a million eggs per shrimp. Three out of four shrimp are female. There's a lot of baby wow. shrimp out there. A lot of baby shrimp out there. So we're never going to run out of shrimp? No, no. The next thing is, is um, how are we getting y'all shrimp? Think about that one. 5% uh, in the wild, that's a... There's a lot of shrimp out there over the past 20 years, and even more. Red Lobster, Baby Tuesday, T.J. Friday, Outback, guys. And the word that we're looking for is aquaculture. The world shrimp is farm-raised in Indonesia and South America. 90% of the world shrimp today is farm-raised. Oh, yeah, now, there's a big difference in it. Y'all ever taste the difference between over by y'all in Atlanta and then coming here and eating shrimp? It's a different world. Uh -huh. It's a different world. And the reason being is the shrimp is 85% water weight. It tastes like an ocean to come out of. Uh, it's a freshwater species of shrimp that they raise. Uh, if you come from farmland, you know that no one is going to put salt water on your land. Not at all. Watch out, pup. I guess you're not crazy. But um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, you don't want to uh, uh, put salt water on your land because uh, it burns your land. You'll never grow yeah. anything again. It's a freshwater product uh, that they use. And uh, your flavor you're looking for is from the salt water. So when you go grocery shop and look for wild salt, it has to be stamped on them. Why uh -huh. call it seafood? Uh, I love that. We have like the H. We did diving. Oh, look at that redfish oh, yeah, you just yeah. put up there. Yeah. And those were. Uh, That's a nice red. Yeah, those are just babies, actually. But I'm surprised it's a killer. Oh, really? Yeah. Oops. I can ask you. That's Excuse a bull. Excuse me, what is the red fish? Like a, like a gold reddish? That's, that's a red fish. Red fish, yeah. yeah. Okay, thank you. That's a bull red, yeah. You know, I think it was here we did it. We've got some Spanish mackerel. Those are, uh, yeah, mackerels. We've got a shark, red fish.